Gate valves are one of the most common type of valves used on ships. These valves generally are either fully open or fully closed. When fully open, the fluid flows through the valve in a straight line with very little resistance. Gate valves should not be used in the regulation or throttling of flow because accurate control is not possible and high flow velocity in partially open valves may cause erosion of the discs and seating surfaces. An exception to the above is specially designed gate valves that are used for low velocity throttling. Before we go into the details of the gate valve, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future educational content from Marine Insight. Gate valves consist of the following parts. Hand wheel. This is a wheel that is rotated clockwise and anti-clockwise and it is connected to the disc via the stem spindle. Stuffing box. It is a chamber in which the packing is compressed to avoid leakage from the steam spindle. Packing material. A gland packing is required for a reliable seal between the stem and the bonnet. Packing is available in a variety of materials including Teflon, elastomeric material, fibrous material and others. Bonnet. The bonnet is the cover for the opening in the body and is the pressure valve's second most important boundary. A bonnet which serves as the cover for the valve body is made of the same material as the body. It is typically attached to the body via threaded bolts. Gasket. It is fitted between body and bonnet for sealing purposes. Stem. The valve stem is responsible for the proper positioning of the disc and provides the necessary movement to the disc for opening or closing the valve. On one end, it is connected to the valve hand wheel, actuator or lever and on the other end, it is connected to the valve disc. Stems are typically forged and threaded or otherwise connected to the disc. A fine surface finish of the stem is required to prevent leakage in the area of the seal. Flange. It is for tightening the gland with a nut. Gate or disc. The disc allows throttles or stops the flow. The disc in a gate or globe valve must move linearly to open or close the valve. When the valve is closed, the full system pressure is applied across the disc. And as a result, the disc is a pressure related component. To provide good wear properties, discs are typically forged and in some designs, hard surfaced. Valve body. The primary boundary of a pressure valve is the valve body, also known as the shell and it holds all the parts together. A valve's body or first pressure boundary resists fluid pressure loads from connecting piping. It accepts inlet and outlet piping via threaded, bolted or welded connections. Valve seat. The seating surface for the disc is provided by the seat or seal rings. A gate valve has two seats, one on the upstream side and the other on the downstream side. A gate valve disc has two seating surfaces that make contact with the valve seats to form a seal that stops the flow. These rings are detachable which makes it easy for replacing them in case they are eroded or damaged. Working of a gate valve the gate valve works by lifting the circular gate connected by a stem out of the path of the fluid by rotating the handle wheel anti-clockwise. When you turn the handle wheel clockwise, steam moves downward across the fluid flow and the gate is squeezed between the two seats so that there is no fluid leakage when the valve is completely closed. Gate will either open or close. We hope that this video has helped you understand the construction and operation of the gate valve. Please do leave a comment if you want to see an explanatory video on any topic related to ships and do not forget to press that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.